Hey guys, what's going on? Will here, Flawless Crested Geckos, coming to you guys with another video, and this is going to be one for the Diamond Series. Uh, I don't know, how you guys week doing? Hopefully it's going well, hopefully you're having a flawless week, but if you're not, hopefully Beautiful Geckos will help improve your mood this week. And this week we're actually going to debut MVP. Um, she's produced from Uncle Sam and Clarice. Um, and man, I feel like Clarice really, really um, cloned herself to a certain extent, but it's, she's MVP is even better than Clarice. And Clarice has some extensive lineage behind her um, because she was a descendant of Cain. Um, from scaredy cat geckos Kane is one of those geckos even to this day we wish we can um acquire um, but he's not for sale um he's located up there crestopia she owns Kane at the moment um and she's not letting him go for anything he's absolutely insane um and we're just happy to have um geckos in our collection stemming from his lineage um but we would like to get closer and closer and closer to Kane if it's ever possible um as you guys continue to grow your collections you need to understand that or build your collection you need to understand that uh in our opinion you cannot keep a super super strong collection without focusing on what you would like to develop in it once you determine what you would like to develop in it, yes, you can cross certain lines that you're working with inside your collection. But a lot of the time for us, we like to go outside the barriers. We like to go to other breeders um, and acquire uh, top level um, breeders or top level geckos to add to our collection to kind of fill the gap, fill the void of whatever we're missing for whatever project. Um, we did that with the Xantix, you know, starting off with pretty much with a head individual. Um, and even though we were producing our own, we went back and got two more visuals, went back, got another visual, went back, got a lily white head. You, you want to keep building. We probably acquired, I don't know, over the years, maybe 20 total Xantix while at the same time probably producing, I don't know, somewhere in the 200 range. Um, but the point of, of the matter is we, we want to produce quality at the same time, hold back quality. And uh, if you can increase your rate of whatever program you're, you're working in, you can also increase the amount of geckos and quality geckos you can hold back to further projects. But back to MVP, um, Clarice was uh, an amazing gecko. Uh, she was here for, I want to say, two years um, before we released her. But we have about six females um, that are a part of her offspring. And when you see MVP, guys, you guys are going to lose it. Uh, Uncle Sam, he's phenomenal. He came from Tara Lee's Cresties. Everything Tara has is absolutely insane. We love, 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 love Tara. Can't wait to meet her in person. Hopefully someday very very soon um but without further ado let's take a look at mvp hey guys flawless crusty geckos here will audra and we're here to tell you about our patreon yes going through tough times you got to know that flawless is always going to have your back if you go over to patreon.com slash flawless crusty geckos you'll see all the perks and benefits it is there for you to come and support us on our patreon fifty dollars a month turns around and goes right back into your Flawless Crested Gecko savings account for you to use towards your next purchase. Any purchase. We also give awesome benefits such as 5% off off the top of the, the price of the gecko. We get free merchandise, t-shirts, we have stainless steel tables, tools, yes. <laughs> all kinds of goodies. We also give free shipping to our members all year round, no blackout dates. And, you know, we give awesome tips, or we think we do anyway. <laughs> That's right. So go over to patreon.com slash flawless crested geckos. And join our family. So this is MVP. Can you say extreme? Super extreme, extreme. That is her. Check her out. She is absolutely insane. We love having her. We have two of her siblings as well that carry that crazy tiger 
pattern underneath the extreme harlequin pattern which makes the extreme harlequin pattern looks even more insane she's yellow uh, we don't have a ton of just downright yellow geckos um, but we had to keep her this is where it comes into play where she expresses exactly what we want to see in pattern and in base color but her yellow color we would like to hopefully alter it in a way where we can produce more cream uh, and eventually high white with the same pattern coverage we love the amount of base that you can see and love how dark the base is but it will be for us it's a goal to see that same dark base on a high white or high cream gecko look at that head <laughs> awesome head this is what we consider the building blocks if I can talk of a project um, she's gonna be here for quite some time again some people love her exactly the way she is which we do but again we're just talking about as far as building programs and how to progress programs what will be the next move how to go about it oops sorry mama that's a good shot of her we have a gecko named static so that's why she never got the name static but this is exactly what pops in my head when I think about static. So you guys comment down below. Do you like complete 100% coverage or do you like that spotty space base pattern or base color popping up through the pattern sporadically but she, as you can see, even with the base color, she's still 90% covered. Easy. Wave at the camera, mama. <laughs> so, as you guys can see with MVP, we have a lot of diversity um, within our collection here. We're going a few different directions. Like I said in previous um, videos, Arthur and I, we sit down at the drawing board a lot and we go back and forth on what parents we would like to see, what we like to uh, discontinue as far as, oh, this pairing was put together. We really didn't like what they produced. Let's go a different direction. A lot of the time it's good to either have a significant other or a friend in the hobby where you can bounce ideas off them. Uh, we do that a lot when it pertains to like our Patreon members as well. Um, we're very intimate with them when it comes to planning uh, their breedings and putting out information to hopefully help and inspire them uh, to create the next stage, the next level of their gecko programs. Um, but you're not going to want to get a yes person, which means a lot of the time I myself is not happy. I'm not happy with some of Audra's uh, decisions she's not happy with my decisions and then we sit down and explain why we would like to see uh, these pairings uh, continue or not continue and we just come to an understanding um, it's easier said than done especially when you're friends when you're married it's like oh well, I'm going to bed early <laughs> or she's like you're getting on my nerves so it's, it's, it's very fun at the end of the day um, we're learning a lot um, uh, having two heads involved in the business is always better than one um, and a lot of the time um, you get one person or the other that will help uh, that other person focus um, sometimes you have a focus issue where or a motivation issue we don't have too many motivational issues because at this point we are building this business and this brand and actually we have the youngins the kids coming up behind us they're in the structure as well they're working they're cleaning they're playing with the animals and enjoying the animals and we're teaching them everything that we know uh, everything that we learn we're rolling over into them and hopefully maybe they'll want to take this on as they continue to get older but 
Anyway, hopefully you guys are enjoying this diamond series. Comment down below what you would like to see next. We love you guys. It's Will, Flawless Crested Geckos, and we are out.